if you ever think as an individual that you can pick on or terrorize a business because they're immigrants or because of the type of immigrant they are or because of the type of business they run, we will pursue justice. Developing today, APD says fingerprints identified this cold-blooded killer in a February massage parlor murder. And the killer is a name you have heard before. Rafael Marquez. He had been terrorizing people all across the city before he was killed by deputies late last month. Police now say this is Marquez seen on surveillance video from February 15th at Canna Spa on Coors near Fortuna. The victim's body is on the floor while Marquez calmly goes about his business robbing the place. Police say they located his car three days after and inside found that surveillance system that belonged to the massage parlor. They say fingerprints at the scene also matched Marquez. Um, this was somebody's employee. This was somebody's friend. This was somebody's um, daughter um, and mother. And so we are incredibly heartbroken about this murder. Just five days after the killing, police say Marquez broke into multiple homes around Albuquerque, terrorizing families. He stole cars and kidnapped three women, but got away five days after that. Bernalillo County deputies shot and killed Marquez near Berlin after a chase. Now, Marquez was on APD's radar before all of this. He was wanted back in December for breaking into homes. We asked APD why they didn't arrest him then. They said the department doesn't search for people with warrants unless it's a violent crime or murder. Albuquerque police and the FBI have also arrested a serial bank robbery suspect, 28-year-old Evan Lemon, is accused in at least nine bank robberies, the last of which they say happened yesterday. Police were called to the U.S. Bank on Louisiana after a man passed a demand note to tellers. Detectives tracked him to a house near Manol and Eubank where they arrested him. He was able to get away in all with nearly $25,000.